Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Atlas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you folks how to tame a monkey. Now, if you're going to be sailing the seas in this game, you've got to have a monkey or some sort of a shoulder pet on your shoulder. And obviously, a monkey is a good option. So if you guys enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment. Now, in order to tame the monkey, you can use the elderberries, which I'll show you how to find, as well as the acerolas. I'm going to be using the acerolas for the purposes of this video. I will also, as I said, show you how to find them and how to get them later on. Now, there is a monkey somewhere around here. I'm going to have to find it. Unlike the chicken, of course, you have to be behind the monkey crouched and not get too close to it. So there is my target right there. I'm going to try and sneak up behind it and give it a berry. There we go. So that is how long it takes to feed it again. It does eat quite quickly. So this should not be a long tame all in all. So you need to be careful not to get too close to it. Otherwise, you will scare it and it will run away. As you can see, it takes about 14, 15 seconds between feeds. And it does wander about as you do it. So do bear that in mind. It can always uh, turn around and do a 180. So also bear that in mind. If it does see you, it will run away. I do suggest, of course, chasing it down if you are taming it. And if you really want that monkey. Um, especially if you are far into the tame. You don't really want to lose it. There isn't anything dangerous on this island, and I am currently on the starting island. And just as I said before, it did a 180. So do bear that in mind. Just move to the side, go back behind it, and feed it again. So this is quite similar to the monkey on the art game. The exact same mechanic with regard to taming it, only that there aren't any kibbles. You are using, of course, berries for the purposes of taming this monkey. I am going to leave the full video without chopping it up so you guys can see how the process goes. For those that are interested, those that have already tamed the monkeys on are you kind of know what to expect. And as you can see, I've already scared it, I think. Yeah. So it's now going to start running. I'm going to chase after it. Try and stay out of its way whilst it's running. And as you can see, it is a bit derpy. It does do quite a bit of rubber banding, uh, especially when it starts running around. So do bear that in mind. I'm just going to stay behind it until it calms down. And then I will continue with the tame. This is a level 1 monkey, so it's not that big of a difference. It doesn't make a difference to me and my world if it is a low level. So I think it's calmed down enough. We're going to go and feed it again. It does help if you count down the seconds. So between feeds, I'd probably count down 15 seconds just to be on the safe side. And then go up to it, feed it again. Wait for it to get hungry. As you can see, I am trying to press the E button whilst it's moving, but it's not always working. It is a bit derpy with regards to that uh, in terms of the mechanic. I am spamming the E button when it is hungry, but it does it when it wants to. And uh, this is one of the problems I've had with the game whilst trying to tame up the passive creatures. Okay, should take this one as well. There we go. So that is one monkey tamed. 
It's quite easy. These are the stats for the monkey. You can put it on your shoulder. And it looks amazing. I do like this creature. It looks very similar to the one on Ark. Now, let's show you how to get the acerolas and the um, elderberries, which you can use to tame the monkey. Okay, here we are. This is the acerola tree that yields the acerola fruit. So it is a bit of a tree. It isn't all that tall. However, it does have the red fruits on it. As you can see, there are quite a few around here when you do harvest it you use your hand uh, so you just go walk up to it press e and you will harvest it you will get sap and acerolas and right next to this tree there are the elderberry bushes which you can also harvest for the elderberries as you can see you get elderberries and some um sap there's another one right there these are perishables and they will obviously spoil in time so do make sure that you have quite a decent amount of them before you decide to tame any of these creatures that use the acerolas so that you have plenty of berries in your inventory and not run out and have to go and find some more acerola bushes or trees that is it for this video folks that is how you tame the monkey in uh atlas if you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful please do not forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos also why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and for those interested you can always find me on the sethtopia discord links to this of course you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe folks.